now that we've studied some of the soil basics, such as a soil texture, also soil pH, uh, soil EC, all of those things uh, kind of lead us to the next phase of our study in soils. And, and that would be the land capability. It's really important to understand some of the physical characteristics of soil that we've, we've already studied. But I think it's going to be really important today also to take a look at what are some tools and resources that we can use to make some decisions on how we can use soil, how we can use the land. In order to do that, um, we, used to be, we used to use a variety of soil series or soil survey maps. And they were developed all over the United States. Um, and, and it took decades of work of people of taking soil core samples, also digging soil pits and, and analyzing horizons and, and sending um, a variety of different samples to, to the lab. But now that everything is digitized, it's a relatively uh, accessible and um, pretty useful tools. NRCS has a terrific one. But I want to show you one here that we use locally in, in, in um, in Yellow County and in California, and it's called Soil Web Online. It's developed by the University of California, Davis, as well as the NRCS. So at the end of our time today, we should be able to uh, find a particular uh, site, uh, take a look at the soil series, and determine its, its usability. So first of all, we're going to start by uh, actually just going to Google. And what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, type in Soil uh, Web online and uh, we'll just let Google do its thing as it's uh, loading up you'll see a variety of, of different sites but there's one in particular we, we want to take a look at and um, it's usually the second or third uh, browser so we're going to uh, take a look at uh, this one right here it says soil web and online soil survey browser now soil series um, or soil surveys is just really a, a compilation of different kinds of soil series in a particular area. Like for instance, uh, we live in Yellow County in California, and what we do is we take a look at all the soil types in Yellow County first. So we're going to click on this. Now, whoops, I got the wrong one. I'll click on that again. There we go. Uh, this is also attached, or, or um, uh, you can get the online version. Excuse me, the mobile version of this on your iPhone or Android and it's called Soil Web and you can be standing pretty much anywhere that, that a soil series is done and it's linked in the database at the University of California and it can tell you what the soil type and soil series is just by standing in your location and of course it uses satellites to pinpoint your location and then because it's an online database it'll find the name of the soil series and that's really useful uh, but, but this particular site is even, even more useful primarily because um, it's also um, linked to uh, Google Earth so that you can see the more up-to-date uh, version of this. So um, you can just click on, on the, the map units or what I do is I just eliminate everything after EDU and type in GMAPS or GMAP I should say. And, um, and, and I'll flash up the, uh, the, the, the link as well as the address here in just a moment. Maybe in the show notes down below, we'll, we'll be able to do that for you. That'll be a little quicker for you. Anyway, as it's loading, uh, you'll see it says Soil Web at the top, and it says University of California, or UC Davis, and NRCS. And it was a joint effort, and it takes a moment or two to load everything, kind of depending on your, um, your connection. And that's loading up. Uh, basically the last place that I was so I'm going to press OK and then over here uh, there's this menu and um, let me go ahead and show you right over here right up there is this menu bar and that menu is kind of the um, the starting point for everything and also, if you look over here, on the other part, there's some navigation tools. You can zoom in, zoom out, go left, go right, go up, down, south, north, whatever. And then here at the very bottom, if you notice, if you have GPS handheld units, you can uh, also use those coordinates to, to help you kind of pinpoint it. So it'll, uh, at some later time, you can come back to it. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to click on Menu. 
Now, you, there's a lot of other things you can do. I'm going to keep it really basic today, primarily because I want you to to just use some uh, use some of the basic tools, and we can get a little bit more fancy later on. I'll show you that later. So you click to zoom location. Um, before I do that, let me close that window, and I want to show you just the navigation tools here. We can you know zoom all the way out of it, and you can probably when we get that loaded, I think that's going to be the state of California. Uh, the northern part of the state. You know, here's the Bay Area. Uh, we're talking somewhere in this this excuse me in this region right in here, in the in the Yellow County area. So we're going to zoom in on it. There's Lake Tahoe, and we're going to zoom in on a location. All right, and you can see what what this area is, and of course this is left, and that's right, and that's up and down. Now we're going to pretend that uh, let let's say we, we're looking at a piece of ground and, and we want to turn it into an orchard, and we want to see the feasibility of doing that. It's it's a pretty good uh, piece of ground. It's easily accessible. Um, it, it's had some agriculture on it before, so we want to take a look to see it. How good of a of a plot of land would that be? Let's say for an orchard, and um, to, to uh, able to do that, we need to kind of zoom in on it. But before we do that. Uh, you probably want to know what all these yellow lines are. These are contour lines. These contour lines outline the boundaries of certain soils and certain soil series. Like, for instance, this one right here, CA, it means it's a certain type of soil. TAA is also another kind of soil. So because of the various minerals, sand, silts, uh, or clay in it, it's going to have a different texture. And of that texture, it's going to have certain depths to uh, depending on the soil horizon and how that particular soil was made. Most of these soils in the Yellow County area uh, tend to be alluvial because uh, of Cache Creek and also Sacramento River before levees would flood on a regular ba basis, bring in um, organic materials, also fresh silt, and, and then once we started putting in levees and other things, uh, soils began to mature. Of course, they would mature pretty much on their own anyway. Depending on where they are in relationship to um, the coastal range will depend on its elevation and, of course, the deposition of certain layers. So anyway, with all that put together, that gives us a very unique and different kind of, of soil types. And you can see that by this map. So let's go ahead and get, hit, click on Menu. And I'm going to hit Zoom Location. And I'm going to put in the town of Esparto. You can put in this um, this menu, you can put addresses, you can put of course the the city, you can put the zip code is, is really helpful, or you can put uh, coordinates in it. I'm just going to put Esparto in it, Esparto, California, because that's where this is located near. And I'm going to click go and um, it's really not zooming in primarily because we're right there it goes. This is Esparta right in the middle of the map. So I'm going to zoom in on it really tight. And we're at the field I'm looking at is located right in the center of our screen here. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit and up a little bit more. 